Hello superheroes! Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. I'm Scarlett Grace from UnseenSeraph.com. I'm a manifestation coach here to help you manifest your wildest desires with the law of attraction. If you're new here and you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of attraction and Neville Goddard's teachings, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is available. I also have a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person, a scripting course and other courses and products designed to help you manifest your dream life easily. So you can check all those out using the links in the description below. Today's video is all about how to do revision using scripting. If you're new to this channel or to Neville Goddard, then first of all, welcome! <laughs> And let me explain those terms to you so that we all know what we're talking about. So, first of all, revision is a technique that comes from Neville Goddard, and it is a technique that we use in order to change something that happened in the past. So let's say that something happened in the past that still haunts you today, and you want to change it. That can be something that happened a few hours ago or several decades ago. It doesn't matter. You can use the revision technique in order to change that thing. If you like visualization and if you've never heard about revision before, then I have a whole video explaining exactly how to revise anything from your life, as well as all my tips and tricks that I use to make revision super effective. So I'm going to link it up to the right and I'm also going to put the link in the description below so that you can go check it out after you watch this video. But revision is at its core a visualization technique. What if you are a person who cannot easily visualize. What if you hate visualization? What if you have zero ability to visualize anything clearly, so you feel that you can't do revision? What do you do then? This is why I decided to make a video to help those of you that cannot visualize or find it very difficult to visualize, or you just plain hate visualization, you know? To do revision without visualization. And this is where scripting comes in. Now again, if you're new to this channel, if you haven't heard about scripting before, I already have a video that tells you everything you need to know to use scripting to successfully manifest your desires. Again, I'm going to link it up to the right and also in the description below, so go check it out after you finish watching this video. But generally, think of scripting like some form of diary that you keep from your future self, so the version of you that already has manifested all the things that you want. The house, the job, the money, the success, the relationship, whatever it is. Think about it like a version of a diary where you write about all those things as if they have already happened to you. And you're doing it right now in the physical world. This is basically at its core what scripting is. So you can combine the two things and you can use scripting to change your past. And this is very, very easy to do. So with regular revision, what you do is you decide on a specific memory that you like to change. Now, we're not talking about a huge event that spans years. We're talking about one specific memory. So maybe it is receiving bad news from someone about something. Or maybe it is the exact moment someone uh, called you names and you still feel insecure around that person up to this day. Or maybe it is something that you did in the past and you regret. Something that you said to another person and you wish you can take it back. One specific scene, one specific memory, not this huge event, but the one specific moment from this event that you wish you could change, that if you change that, if you could go back in time and do something completely different, if you could go back in time and never say that thing, then everything that came after it would have happened differently. So maybe you told someone you hate them and then they broke up with you because that was the last straw for them. And you wish you could go back and undo it, but you don't have a time machine. That's where revision comes in. You go back to that exact moment and you imagine a different version of events, an alternate version of events, and make things the way you want them to be. So, for example, instead of having a fight with someone that ends with you saying, I hate you, and that was the end, you imagine that a fight was about to start, but you actually said something sweet, and the person stopped being angry at you, and you made up, and the fight never happened, and you never said, I hate you, and you never had to break up. 
That's just one example of something that you may want to change. So you usually do that in your mind with visualization, but in this case, we're going to do it with scripting. So first of all, you decide how you want things to play out differently, just like I just did. So you have a fight, you want the fight to never have happened, for example. Or you said a thing, you want to go back and make yourself say a completely different thing. Or you want to change what someone else told you. So maybe someone else was rude towards you, someone else was hurtful towards you, and you want them to be nice and kind instead in that specific moment in the past where it happened. You decide how you want things to play out, and instead of imagining it, as we do with normal revision, we use scripting to do it. So the way this works is you write just like you write with regular scripting, only this is a memory. So you write something along the lines of, I can still remember that day when this and this happened, but you're not describing the original bad memory, you're describing the new version of it that you just created as if it is something that you remember happening in the past. So you write, for example, I still remember that day when Jay came back from work and he was all irritated and frustrated because something had happened at work, but I went up to him and hugged him and was like, hey baby, I made your favorite food to surprise you. And I could see his anger dissipating and he suddenly smiled at me and hugged me back and kissed me and he said, you're a treasure and I never want to lose you, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. So this is a simple version, you can add as much detail as you want, you can write what happens next. So what happened next? Maybe you watched a movie. Write as much detail as you want in order to make it a vivid experience that feels like a real memory, a real pleasant memory. So this is one way to do revision. And then after you've written that version, that new version, for several days, go back and reread that memory and try to feel all the feelings associated with it. And the more you do that, the more the original memory, the bad memory, gets replaced by this new memory that you planted there using scripting. So the more you read it, and the more you play the new story in your mind, the new version of event, instead of letting your mind go back to the old negative memory, the more firmly it gets planted into your subconscious mind until you get to a point where you feel that this is what truly happened back then. That you never fought that night. You don't even think that he fought that night because what actually happened was he came home and he was super angry, but he didn't take it out on you. You actually had a really great time. Now again, this is just one example of what you can use scripting for. You can use scripting for pretty much anything. So maybe... Uh, you were fired many times and you want to undo all those times you were fired so that you stop feeling afraid that you're going to be fired now so that you change your current circumstances and you get to keep your job. So you can use scripting to change all those times you got fired and make it so instead of getting fired, you were praised for the good work that you've done. You were uh, actually given a promotion or a bonus instead. And you script each of those different memories, the new version of them. So first job you got fired from, that makes you insecure now about your job. What happened? Take that moment when they told you you were fired and change it into what you wanted it to be. You were never fired. You were promoted that day. You script it. Then spend a few days reading what you've written about how you got a bonus that day or you got a promotion that day. And... Do that every day until this new memory that you have created by writing about how you remember that thing happening. Like, I remember when I went to work that day and they announced that I'm getting a bonus. Until it feels real, until it feels like this is the true memory, this is truly what happened back then. And then you can do the same thing with the next job you remember being fired from and then the next. Until you don't have any job in the past where you got fired from. What if you are the person who was never fired and you always walked away because you found a much better opportunity? Wouldn't you be a completely different person now? Wouldn't you be feeling completely different now? Wouldn't you be manifesting much bigger things for yourself now without any inner resistance? Well, that's the goal. That's why we do revision. 
So for those of you who feel you're not good with visualization or you just hate it and don't want to do it, but you still wanted to do revision and didn't know how to do it effectively, this is a way to do it very, very effectively. So try this and then leave a comment to share your experience with this method. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.